June 3rd, 2021 was Sacramento Planning Commission meeting. We continue to meet via live teleconference pursuant to Governor's Executive Order N-2920 to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Members of the public have been invited to watch the meeting via wave cable on our local channel 20, streaming online through the city's website or through the Zoom platform. Tonight's agenda and all agenda item materials are available on the city's website on the Planning Commission page. All public comments submitted by 5 p.m. via email to the Planning Commission clerk are available for consideration and are posted on the city website, along with the agenda and link to the live streaming video of this meeting, so that all commissioners and community members can see the complete text and submittal information. Members of the public participating via Zoom may also make oral comments during item 1A prior to the first item on consent and after the staff presentation for any other items on the agenda. The commission clerk will note the commenters for each item and call on you by name when it is your turn to speak. Comments will be limited to three minutes. With that, we'll proceed to tonight's agenda. First up is the general administration function. A, uh, presentations by the public on matters not on the agenda within the jurisdiction of the commission. Do we have any commenters for this item, Mr. There Mayor? was no written item. We do have one uh, guest in the uh, meeting. I don't know if they want to comment on 1A. That sounds like a no. Okay, moving to 1B, correspondence and staff communications from the Planning Commission Secretary. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Chair Sablon. Uh, you should have all received a, a memo from myself um, or, uh, yesterday, and I, I believe we resent it today just in case. So um, if you haven't had time to peruse that, I will be addressing it uh, once we get to our, our regular agenda tonight. That's all for correspondence at this time. 1C, disclosure of ex parte communications. Does anyone have anything to disclose? Not seeing any hands. Turning to the consent agenda, uh, consent agenda item two, consideration and approval of the minutes from the May 2021 commission meeting minutes. Any discussion or motion on this? The yeah. uh, vice chair Berlin. I move to, I motion to move to approve the minutes. <laughs> Sorry. We have a motion. Uh, do we have a second? I'll second. Okay. A second from commissioner Steger. Um, Mr. Mearswack, can you do the roll call, please? Commissioner Hirsch? Aye. Commissioner Berliner? Aye. Commissioner Esquivel? Aye. Commissioner Lockhart? Aye. Commissioner DeAnda? Commissioner DeAnda? Aye. Commissioner Steger? Aye. Chair Sablon? Aye. Thank you. Motion passes. Moving on to our regular agenda, item three, continued public hearing regarding an appeal of the zoning administrator's denial of a lot merger request at 3100, 3200, and 3250 Ramco Street. Uh, Mr. Tilly, are you handling this? Yes, um, <laughs> briefly. Um, the appellant in this matter um, has requested a further continuance. Um, and in this case, they have requested a continuance to a date that is uncertain. And so staff is amenable to that request. And that would be our recommended action um, to you this evening. Um, the purpose of continuing this matter um, to a date uncertain is to allow for time to try to attempt to address um, those matters raised in the zoning administrator's 
report that uh, became that subsequently was appealed by the applicant. The hope is that there will be project modifications um, that can be done that can address those those matters that were listed in the zoning administrator report. Um, if there if there are project modifications, um, a new public process you know would need to begin. Um, and as outlined in the memo that we provided to you previously, we really think there's sort of three possible scenarios um, that may that may occur um, depending on the outcome of uh, further work. Um, the, the project as proposed um, could only come back to, could only be heard by the planning commission. Uh, they cannot make changes to the project and then come to planning commission. So the project at that stage, you know, would be um, presented, you know, as is. Um, should there be project modifications proposed, um, that may require an amended application and a new public review um, period. Um, if the matter were to come back before the Planning Commission, we would expect that maybe a couple of months. And so we wanted to make sure that the Commission and the public knows that um, there certainly is nothing imminent on this particular matter. And we are hoping that there can be a resolution that um, addresses the matters raised in the zoning administrator report. Um, so we will see. Uh, we, are hope we are hopeful that something can be um, achieved, uh, but we will see. Uh, but we are working hard on it right now uh, with the landowner um, to hopefully get a, a better, hopefully get the best possible outcome out of this matter as possible. So um, there will, there cannot be any changes without a new public review period, um, no building permits can be issued, um, anything of that nature until this matter is resolved one way or the other. So um, at this time, we would like to recommend we change the, with the recommendation that's in the staff report to no longer continue to just our next meeting, but to continue um, to a date uncertain. So what that will mean is should this matter um, end up returning to the Planning Commission for the actual hearing on the, on the appeal of the existing project, um, it would need to be fully re-noticed, and, um, and so there would be ample time for additional public comment. Um, speaking of public comment, we would ask that you take any public comment on the continuance tonight to, to the extent there is some, and then after that, we would recommend that you vote to continue this matter to a date uncertain. So that's all I have to say on this matter. I have if you have any questions for me or Mr. City Attorney, um, we'd be happy to answer those for you. Thank you, Mr. Tilly. Uh, any questions from the commissioners? I'm not seeing any. Oh, Commissioner Steger. Thank you, Chair Salon. Um, Mr. Tilly, so I think uh, I just have one follow up question with regards to any um, changes that are, are made to the plans um, and then are brought forth again in front of uh, the commission uh, for approval or denial. Um, in terms of those changes, are those changes going to, uh, will we have the ability to leverage the expertise of, of your team to um, kind of weigh in on those cha those proposed changes before we make an opinion or is that, that, yeah, and we'll, this is probably. Yeah, so what would happen in that scenario, you know, say everyone thinks that, you know, changes A, B, C, and D or whatever are, are good. And then the zoning administrator would need to render a new decision. And then the only way the matter in that scenario, the only way this matter would return to the planning commission is if that second zoning administrator decision is appealed um, by some party. Um, if we can get to the point where the zoning administrator um, can make the required findings and there is no appeal, then the matter would end at that point. I see. So the only way this matter would be before the planning commission um, would be an appeal of the existing decision as has been, you know, agendized previously or a, a second appeal of a second zoning administrator decision. Got it. Got so, it. Okay. Um, okay. So that's, that's sort of how, how it would play out in terms of the planning commission's role in this matter. It would only really be in, in an appeal scenario. I see. Thank you very much. Uh, no further questions, Chair Squaw. Any Commissioner Hirsch. I'll move the staff's recommended action if there's no uh, public comment. And to clarify, the staff's recommended action 
by Mr. Tilly just now, not what's written. So to continue to a date uncertain. So I'd recommend we first take some public comment on the continuance piece if there is any. So I would open it up for, for that. Okay. Yeah. So if there are no further questions from the commissioners, uh, we'll reopen the public hearing. And uh, Mr. Mirzak, do we have any? Or oh, I guess first, does, does the applicant or the appellant have any comments? Uh, the, the appellant is unable to log on right now. I just received an email and forwarded some additional instructions. So let's maybe take public comment first and give them another minute to okay to get on. Okay. Um, Mr. Mirzak, do we have any? Uh, yes, we have a Wendy on the line. I don't know if she wants to give public comment or not. Miss Matuka, I'm not sure if I pronounced her name correctly. I I actually don't have any comment. I I think I understand what was just said. Okay, thank you. Um, should we wait for the applicant? Let's give them another minute or two. Let's see a, a hand up for uh, Commissioner Lockhart. Commissioner Lockhart. Yes, um, I'm sorry that I missed the part of the agenda when I should have said this during communications, but I did want to disclose, like I did at the last meeting, that before I was officially on the planning commission, that I was approached by a neighbor of, of the um, project about this. So thank you. Thank you. See if we can help our applicant jump on real quick. My uh my computer might die out. I keep changing the outlets. So if I drop off, I, I will I will jump on on my phone. The wrong one. Mr. City Attorney, are you attempting to assist? Um, yes, I'm, I'm sending another email to the applicant. Actually, this is this is Wendy Motok. If I may, I, I just got a text from Mr. Honer. He is unable to log in as well. Could it be the link? I think it should be established because everybody else was able to come in. Were the meeting security controls changed at all? No. They are using the uh, meeting ID number 921-3958-4861, correct? I just e I just emailed um, the appellant and Mr. Honer um, regarding the using the, the link that I used to get in. Yeah, I just emailed. I just texted Jeremiah to see. I'm sorry, Mr. Honer to see if he could get in. Um, maybe they can try calling in on the phone number. The link's not working. You can at least hear them. Yes, I believe if, if Ms. 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 Maroka was able to get in, and I could certainly expect them to be able to get in as well. I joined before the, the live streaming began. I don't know if that makes a difference. So I was yeah, on. Live is handled through our um, IT department and they're just logged in. That's the streaming in the meeting. Yeah. 
Oh, I see. Okay, I see a four one five. That must be um, the appellant's attorney, uh -huh. or um, or it could be uh, Mr. Hunter. I believe they both might have four one five numbers. Looks like they're in. Oh, no, looks like is that their attorney on there, Miss Barclay? Barclay, Barclay, yes, that, that is the appellant's attorney. David, it's Cecily Barclay, and after like eight tries, I just got in. Um, so I and I just want to let you know I tried the call in number just in case I could just audio, but it didn't. Uh, it just said the meeting hasn't started. But you have at least one more person. I could hear you earlier, but you couldn't hear me. But well, the right, time so, is perfect because we are at public comment period. So now is your is your time to. Um, provide any comment, uh, Ms. Barclay, if you wish to do so. And I do see Mr. Honer in now too. Great. I, I don't have any public comment. I just wanted to let you know that I was finally able to hear you. So thank you. Um, let's see, M Mr. Honer? Yeah, I'm here. I finally got in. Thank you for forwarding the meeting, Mr. Tully. Can I be heard? Yes, we can hear you. Um, Let's see, Ben. So you have three minutes for your public comment, and uh, Mr. Mearswack will time you on this. Okay. Well, I won't take nearly that long. I <laughs> just wanted to let you know that you know we, of course, are you know obviously very interested in this topic uh, with the um, plan for the zoning merger for the the development that is right behind San Nichols and. Uh, um, we were relieved that it was originally denied because when. The property owners here bought our property. Yeah, there was that expectation that it was three smaller lots. So making it a much larger lot, of course, is going to be uh, much different than what we purchased our property as. And of course, you know, with the onslaught of noise that we're currently encountering and currently experiencing, um, we're very wary about inviting more of that kind of disruption and disturbance to our to our lives. And I. And I always invite city officials to come and visit our, our neighborhood to, to listen to what it is like and how it is. Um, I, I, we're not, I'm not totally familiar or keen on how the process works and how the continuations work and the appeal and, and, the, intro and the modification of plans and everything, but um, I'm hoping we can get that information uh, in, in writing so that we're able to follow along with the process and participate to the full extent possible. I'm done. And Chair, Chair Sublime, I also just received another email from another resident who was having a difficult time getting in. So I relayed him the link that I sent to um, Ms. Barclay and Mr. Honer. So hopefully that will work for him. And um, I'd like to give him the opportunity um, to comment as well as you know, he's been an um, active participant in this whole process. Yeah, certainly. Mr. Ryland. Um, Mr. Tilly, while we're waiting for him, uh, maybe you could repeat what you spoke about earlier about the public process for any modifications. Sure. Um, the reason for the continuance that the applicant has requested, which staff is um, you know, amenable to, is to attempt to um, work on those matters that were addressed in the um, zoning administrator staff report that led to the this appeal matter. Um, should project modifications um, be proposed uh, formally, um, there would need to be a new public review process um, for that, and then a new zoning administrator decision. Um, there's nothing imminent in that regard. Um, it is something we are working on, and we're we're certainly hoping that that we will be able to get there. But we don't know. Um, we don't know yet. So hence, we need a little more time. Um, I don't want to have these have these serial continuances. And so also, what this means by continuing to a date uncertain is that we will need to um, re-notice 
um, formally for a future hearing should there be a future hearing on this matter before the Planning Commission. Um, the project cannot be changed after the fact, um, and the commission would only only occur only um, hear an appeal over the project as it was as it was initially proposed. Um, so there's nothing imminent. There are no building permits going to be issued. There's nothing like that. And if we were to return to the planning commission on this matter, uh, I would expect it would be you know another month or two. So um, there's no reason to um, you know be scanning and scanning the agendas, you know, night and day, left and right. Um, it will be a little while and there will be a new notice um, if if the matter ever returns to the Planning Commission. So um, we are hopeful that we will be able to resolve things um, with the new public process, but right now we will see. Thank you, Mr. Silly. I, I see Mr. Ryland on if he has if he has uh, uh, Graham, if he has um, a public comment. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tilly. Um, I, I've been trying to log on, so I apologize if I'm kind of coming in here uh, saying things that have uh, already been said uh, or have already been answered, questions that have been answered already. Um, uh, so thanks for your patience. Just wanted to make it clear that, you know, our, our neighborhood is, is active and communicative and um, we're really excited to, to, we were excited to hear that the, the city heard us and was actively representing our uh, needs and, and what uh, our um, really peaceful living expectations were for our neighborhood. And so, you know, this, I, I've, I fully understand the, the need and, and the, the right way of, of um, following procedure. But I also want to share that, you know, deferring and pushing back and deferring and pushing back week upon week, month upon month, um, it, you know, this is, this is something that uh, corporations are, you know, they pay a very good salary for somebody to just keep, keep things going. Um, for us, you know, it, it, at a certain point, it starts to erode faith in the process. So we really hope that um, this, this is, an opportunity to just share that we are active. This is not a, a one-time, you know, outburst from the community. This is a, an issue that that it, we're we're actively thinking about, communicating about daily. And um, I just just want to share that and, and also appreciation of um, our local government for hearing us and and also uh, responding to that in in a way that we're really uh, pleased with uh, with keeping these three. Uh, uh, smaller lots from becoming uh, a much larger, uh, uh, I think, arguably more disruptive to our uh, our, our living, our uh, peaceful living in our neighborhood. So thank you for the opportunity to share. Thank you. Do, do we have any additional public commenters for this item? I don't, I don't see anyone new. So I think with that, we'll close the public hearing and take it back to the commission for deliberation or motion. Any, any comments or Commissioner Hirsch? I want to thank all the public commenters today. I think it's really helpful. And with that public comment, I will move the staff's recommended action to continue this motion to a date uncertain. Okay, we have a motion from Commissioner Hirsch. Uh, Commissioner Escobel. Wanted, yeah, just to thank the public, um, not only those who spoke today, but those that have submitted comments um, and those that have submitted comments in the past through email. So I know that this has been um, a process that has continued and it may feel a little dragged on, but I think for this purpose, it seems like it's moving in the right direction, that conversations are being had. And I am hopeful that an agreement can be reached to address the concerns that have been voiced by the neighbor, the neighborhoods in that area being affected by, by these decisions. So um, I, I just really appreciate the public comments because without 
without their voice, without um, their participation, um, we, you know, we wouldn't be able to, to have our city and the applicants have this conversation. So um, I, I do agree with um, what was mentioned earlier that I, we, we hope to see something sooner, um, sooner rather than later. Uh, I think that there, you know, in the coming weeks or, or you know, if, if sooner that we can bring closure to this solution. Thank you. Uh, any other comments from the commissioners? I'll second. I'll second Commissioner Hirsch's motion. Uh, we have a second from Vice Chair Berliner. Mr. Mayorswack, can you do the roll call, please? Commissioner Esquivel? Aye. Commissioner Lockhart? Aye. Commissioner DeAnda? Aye. Commissioner Steger? Aye. Commissioner Hirsch? Hirsch? Aye. Commissioner Berliner? Aye. Chair Sabon? Aye. Okay. With that, the motion passes and the hearing will be continued to a date uncertain. I, I just wanted to reiterate for the public that any mo modifications will be subject to the public review process. And if this appeal comes back in its, its current form to the commission, uh, you will be duly notified and, and you will have an opportunity to comment on it if it comes back. Okay. And thank you for coming today to comment. So with that, we'll turn to administration function part 2A. Any informal discussion? Not seeing any hands. Oh, Commissioner Esquivel. Is this where we can wish uh, Commissioner um, Berliner a belated happy birthday? Happy belated birthday. Thank you. When was your birthday? It was Sunday. Wow, fun. Okay, not seeing any other hands. So we'll go ahead and close the meeting for today. I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye everyone. Good night everyone, thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night.